Hi there, once again, welcome to Agitech. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can use dictionary in Python. Remember, if you are new to this channel, remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get alerts anytime we upload a new content. Remember, if you subscribe, you're not going to miss anything or you're not going to miss any of our tutorials anytime we upload them. Okay, so try and then do that to support this channel. Okay, so what are dictionary and then how can we create and how can we use them? So dictionary are special structures in Python, which allows you to store information using key value pairs. Okay, so we let's say for instance we have one, and then we bring the colon, and then we give a minute to that. So let's say anytime we call this one, this key. So the this one is going to be the key, and then the value is going to be one. So anytime we call one, we we'll print that. Or let's say for instance, let me try this for you to see. So if I say every dictionary is going, to, every dictionary is going to have a name. So let's say my the name of my dictionary is what name number okay so let me call it number okay and this is going to be equal to anytime you are creating a dictionary the dictionary is going to be in what we call the curly bracket this way and then we're going to have the key and then the value so let's see if you have one colon and then the value will be what depending on what you are doing so if it's a string it should be more double quote so let's say this is one so anytime i want to print i call this key one and it's going to print this for me. So let's say I want to print out this and I say I call the name of my dictionary num number. I have to call the key and the key is one. So when I call this key by running this code, it's going to print out one for me. That's the value. So this can happen to a, com a very complex list or a very long list. So if I bring comma, I can add another one and say two. And then this is also going to be colon. So I see if I have this. And assuming I call two, it's going to print out two for me. Okay. So when I run this, it's going to print out two for me. So basically, this is our dictionary way. It just works like the normal dictionary system that we have. So you have a dictionary, you have a word, you call that, you search for that word. That word is having a meaning. So the word that you are searching for is not a key. And the meaning to that word will become the value. Okay. So that's what we are going to do. Remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. In order to get alerts anytime we upload a new content. So we're going to use this to do something more exciting so like i said a dictionary need to have a name so let's create a dictionary for the months okay so let's say the name of our dictionary is called what months so before that let me reload this page so let's say the name of our dictionary is called what months and then it's going to we'll bring the curly brackets as i said and then we're going to have the keys so the key for the first one let's say january so let's say january J A N colon and then we're going to have what the full minute to that but it's what January. So basically this is what we are doing. So this for instance, anytime I want to print this out and I say print and I call the name of my dictionary, which is months, and I bring the square bracket, I just have to go ahead and call my what my key and my key this one around is what January. So when I print this out, I should be get what? Okay, so there should be quotation. You should make sure you close that. So when I print this out, I'm going to go into what? My January. Okay. If so, once you type in January and then you run this code, it should print the January for you. If I want to add more, let's say I want to add another month and I say, let's say February. And then I follow up with the value which is February. I have this. This is basically the last one. So I don't need to bring the comma. So if I come down here and then I type in February. I type in February. Type in February and I close this. If I run this, I should be getting what? February. Okay. So I'll be I should be getting February. So if I want to continue with the rest of my month, I just have to go ahead and then let's say March will follow. March will follow in that order. So basically, this is how to create this one, and then it's going to help you a lot to store important values anytime you are using 
Python to code. So if I want to go ahead and then do for the rest, it's basically going to the same format. It's basically going to be the same format. I just have to call my index. So I just have to call my keys and then later around this code is going to print out the value for me. So it works hand in hand. So it's going to have key value pair. Basically, like I said, in our in the normal dictionary system that have a value and then its meaning. That is exactly what is going to happen over here. So you can go ahead and then add in more values. You can continue to do for the rest of the month. And it's basically going to be the same. So maybe I can leave that for you as assignment. And then if you're interested in learning Python, you can try that and see how this is going to work. So if possible, if there's enough time, we can just do that and you see how nice this is going to look. So we just have to go ahead and let's say we have this for me. Let me just leave this as me. So I'm going to have B. So let me just do this to the last one. So I'm going to have June. What do I have to do now? So remember to subscribe and don't, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. I'm going to create a very amazing content for you. I'm going to have a very amazing tutorial and program. At least it's going to be beginner. I'm going to focus on beginners and then create videos that will help you to learn and then master programming. So remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload. A new content. So I just want to try and then finish up for the rest of the month. So I'm going to have I guess and I can easily print any of this. I'm also going to have September. Have September. We're going to have the next one is going to be October. So remember, after every value, you have to bring what a comma. If you leave out a comma, you're going to get error. So you just have to take note of that. I'm going to have November, and the value is going to be what November. If you leave out the quotes, it's going to give you error. The last one is going to be December. December. And then the value is going to be December. So basically, this is the last one. I don't need to bring a comma after that. So if everything over here is set, if you run this code, everything is working. So if I want to print December, for instance, I just have to DEC. And then that is a key. And then it's going to print out the value for me. So I left out something here. Okay, so it's going to be like this. A square and a bracket. So if I run this, it's going to print out December for me. If I want November, I just have to type in November. Okay. Just have to type in November. And then I can run this code and then it's going to print out November for me. So I'm able to print November. Basically, this is how to use this printing in Python. I'll be creating another video on tuples. I'll be writing. On, I'll be creating another video on tuples, functions. I'll be looking at classes, objects in Python. So remember to subscribe so you don't miss all those video tutorials. I'll be also be doing videos on JavaScript, React, and then some amazing stuff coming up. So for you to enjoy those tutorials, you just have to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. So I never on any of those videos. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And basically this is how to create this in Python. Then till I come away another time. Stay safe. Bye bye.